What are you looking at right now is a semicircular wall, the iconic wall that make Kori Kancha Temple so famous. This is a black and Andean granite, and on the top is the back side of the church of Santo Domingo, built in the 1600s. In order to get there, you have to enter the Kori Kancha Temple main entrance, turn immediately to the right, keep walking through the aisle, and you will see exactly this other section of the Kori Kancha Temple where there is an aisle located between the colonial walls and the black and the granite walls where the solar disk or punchao, the idol punchao made of pure gold used to be located. That area is also known as the Sun Temple in the Kori Kancha. Once you get there, you will find an engraved word in the mortar between the colonial walls that someone left as a clue related to the chincanas or tunnel. This is an engraved that means chincana. Chincana means an underground cave, tunnel, or labyrinth. That's in Quechua, the language of the Incas. As you can see here is the wall, the colonial wall, and this enclosure here has already been closed and sealed because the chincana or the tunnel was in this place, right behind the altar of the Santo Domingo Church, which has been here for two, three, four hundred years old. And this is the place exactly in this area where the solar disk was located, the Punchao, the Indi, where every 21st of June, the sun rays were here and the shining light of the sun went into this enclosure and it was pointing into this underground tunnel which is located behind the altar, was closed and sealed by the Catholics within time. You see all this protuberance here because the sun and his movement during the year make a mark on one of this stone. The stellar moment was on the 21st of June, where the solar disk was located here, Inti, the Father Sky, and Mother Earth were together, and it was the Punchao. So Chincanes Labyrinth, underground system, or also a cavern, which is also sacred at the same time. So this is the part that has been blocked, concealed, by the Dominicans centuries ago, in order to cover, because the light in that day, only in that day, on the 21st of June, when the sun rises, it will go straight in a different kind of mirrors, gold mirrors, pointing the direction into underground system called Chincana. This is a model of the Kori Kancha Temple. According to the historians, its walls were decorated with gold sheets with approximately a weight of four pounds. However, that aisle was not open to the public. It was before completely sealed and hidden by the Dominicans for centuries. It was after a powerful earthquake affected Cusco that partially destroyed the city that in the reconstruction of the building, they decided, the local engineers and authorities decided to open that aisle to the public, so it was able to be seen and walk where the Sun Temple used to be located. And someone left that clue of engraving the word Chincana in the colonial wall in order to have a clue that there is a tunnel that it has been hidden for centuries by the Dominicans since the very beginning of the conquest of Peru. There were several Spaniard chroniclers that after the conquest they arrived in the 1500s and 1600s and they were able to compile information from the people from Cusco regarding a tunnel that ran from Sacsayhuaman towards the Cori Cancha Temple. Even Inca Garcilaso de la Vega in his book The Royal Commentaries wrote about these tunnels and intricated system of tunnels that exist underneath Cusco City. German scientist Alexander von Humboldt also wrote about 
what he heard on testimonies of local people telling him about tunnels underground downtown Cusco as well. In modern times, we have the comment of engineer, architect, and designer, director of the National College of Engineers of Peru, Santiago Agurto Calvo, who wrote in his book, Inca Planification and Architecture, published in 1987, quote, he said, Right now, we cannot say too much about this subject. Only when excavations can be done in the heart of the city to unveil the mysteries of underground Cusco, end quote. So as you can see, there is a potential persistent through the centuries of a real tunnel with real treasures there, sealed in a pact of silence by the Dominicas for centuries. It was on March of 1994 that the young reporter, now famous author, Spaniard Javier Sierra, traveled from Madrid to Cusco in order to have a private meeting with the abbot of the convent of Santo Domingo, Father Benigno Gamara. Let's go back in time to understand why the Dominicans has been practically keeping a low profile regarding the existence of these tunnels or chincanas that run from Saxa woman towards the Cori Cancha temple for centuries. There is a reason why they were doing that. Right after his trip to Peru is that Javier Sierra published at the famous magazine Beyond Signs, Más Allá de la Ciencia, in Spain, his encounter and interviews with Father Benito Gamara, abbot of the convent of Santo Domingo, where he found out a really very interesting information regarding the Chincanas. This article was translated from Spanish into English and appeared on the Bulletin of the Ancient Astronaut Society in the edition of August and September of 1994. During this private interview, one early morning where there was no mass or public ceremonies of the church, Father Benigno Gamara told Javier Sierra that he knew there was an entrance to the underground system of tunnels that connects Cori Cancha to Saxa Woman, but he did not remember where exactly it was located due to the reinforcement of concrete that the Santo Domingo Church needed to be done in order to protect their basement after the earthquake in 1950. According to the account of Javier Sierra, Father Benigno Gamara told him that this tunnel runs from Cusco and goes straight and ends in Ecuador, confirming some legends and myths about these tunnels that are connects with several archaeological sites of the Inca Empire and ends in Ecuador, probably in the Tayos Cavern, located in Cuenca, Ecuador. Father Benigno Gamara also told Javier Sierra that he was aware that there has been expeditions, Dominicans expeditions, into the tunnels that run from Coricancha Temple towards Saxai Woman. They were not only expeditions, they were successful because they were able to find objects, gold objects from the Incas, the Incas gold that they were hidden before the conquistadors arrived into Cusco. That means there has been an object, according to Father Benito Gamara, that allowed in that moment of the interview Javier Sierra to take a picture of two crowns, two crowns that were used as relics, religious relics, for the Virgin Mary, but this gold came from a finding of a treasure of a piece of gold or ornament that was melted in order to create those crowns. The picture taken for Javier Sierra was allowed with the permission of Father Benigno Gamara. What that means? Father Benigno Gamara told Javier Sierra that since there has been explorations, successful exploration done by his fellow Dominicans to get some treasures, gold treasures, that means that is the main reason, in my opinion, why the Dominicans have kept a pact of silence. Never talk about this. That means they were taking archaeological remains, archaeological treasures that belong to the Peruvian state, 
does not belong to the Catholic Church without any permission from any Peruvian authority they were able to melt and turn it into religious objects. We don't know exactly how many objects that has been melted, how many gold has been already taken by the Dominicans, but it's highly suspicious that this has been commented by the own abbot of the Santo Domingo Church, Father Benindo Gamara. That tells us a lot, that if there has been any treasure, and perhaps is gone now, the Dominicans knows a lot about this.